Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about Michaelis Menten and Len Weaver Burke blots. We talked about competitive inhibitors, non-competitive inhibitors, and mixed inhibitors. Today, it's time for uncompetitive inhibitors. Do they bind to the active site or to the allosteric site of the enzyme? The answer is to the allosteric site. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order, especially the video on competitive and non-competitive inhibitors. We have four types of enzyme inhibitors, competitive, non-competitive, mixed, and uncompetitive. Here is the lovely enzyme which catalyzes reactions. It has an active site, the front door, and an allosteric site, the back door. Competitive inhibitors bind to the active site. Every other inhibitor is going to bind to the allosteric site. Moreover, competitive inhibitors are the only inhibitors that do not lower the Vmax, which is the maximum rate of the reaction. Every other inhibitor will decrease your Vmax. Let's review competitive inhibitors quickly. What do they do? They cross the affinity, and as you know, affinity is always opposite to Km. By crushing the affinity, Km will go up. And again, it's the only inhibitor that does not lower your Vmax. Next, non-competitive inhibitors. No change in the affinity, which means no change in the Km. However, since we cannot overcome them, they lower the Vmax. Here is an analogy to understand competitive inhibitors. Imagine that we started with a shop that sells 10 cars per day to 10 different customers. Here came the competitive inhibitor, Cody the capitalist, and open shop just next to the first shop. What's going to happen to the customers? Well, five will remain with the old shop and five will go to the new one. So the attraction of customers to the old store decreased. Therefore, KM is going to go up. But did Cody the capitalist alter the net sales revenue or the total number of units sold? The answer is no. So with Cody the capitalist, the competitive inhibitor, KM will climb because we crush the affinity. Can we overcome Cody? Yes, by providing better products and services. Therefore, there is no change in Vmax. Next is non-competitive inhibitor, Nancy the Karen. You, the enzyme, were driving your car, the substrate. Down the road, the speed limit was 15. You were driving at 20. Nancy started yelling at you and she said that she is going to call the cops. After hearing this, what's going to happen to your speed? It will go down. Vmax will decrease. But you still love the car. So what's going to happen to your affinity with your car? The answer is no change. So on Michaelis Menten, if I want to put competitive inhibitors, I will shift to the right and I will draw a graph like this. Nice. The Vmax did not change but the Km is shifted to the right, which means it went up. If I wanted to draw a non-competitive inhibitor, it has to go down, like this. Next is the Linweaver Beaver Burke. With competitive inhibitors, Km will go up, but Vmax will not change. The graph will look like this. But as for non-competitive inhibitors, Vmax will decrease, so 1 over Vmax will go up, but Km will not change, and the line will look like this. Note that with competitive inhibitors, both lines, the control and the competitive, intersected on the y-axis. But with Nancy the Karen, the non-competitive inhibitor, both lines intersect on the x-axis. Competitive inhibitor bind to the active site, non-competitive to the allosteric site. With competitive inhibitor, affinity went down, so Km went up, but the Vmax did not change. With non-competitive inhibitors, Km will not change, Vmax will go down. If you want to learn about mixed inhibitors, check the last video. Recall that both lines, the old and the new, intersected at a point that is neither on the x-axis nor on the y-axis. With mixed inhibitors, they bind the allosteric site, Km might go down or up. Vmax will always go down. Let's add uncompetitive inhibitors. Again, they bind to the allosteric site. Km is always decreasing because affinity goes up. And just like the ones before it, Vmax will go down. So again, competitive inhibitors are unique. They are the only inhibitors that bind the active site. Everything else binds allosteric. Competitive inhibitors are unique. They are the only inhibitors that do not decrease your Vmax. 
every single other one is gonna lower your VMAX. Uncompetitive inhibitor, what's the deal? It binds only to the enzyme substrate complex when both are hugging each other and will tell them, hold on, hold on, just keep locked in that position. You're not allowed to detach, which means we will love each other even more because we're hugging each other longer. KM will decrease. VMAX will decrease. So VMAX decreased, which means one over VMAX will go up. Here's the line. What happened to KM? It decreased. I shift to the left. So look at the old line versus the new line. They are parallel. So there you go again. Please pause and review. If you like this video, check out my general pharmacology course on my website medicosisperfectionetics.com with even more graphs and lots of math equations. And if you like biochemistry, you will like toxicology as well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.